Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video in Coding with Thiago. And in today's video, I would like to share with you another super cool extension for your CSS files into your VS Code, right? We are continuing our, uh, our series about VS Code extensions. And today's extension is the extension for CSS colors, right? So as you can see here, I am using the same project we are using in the few last, uh, the few last videos. Right, so for example, if you if we check here, you can see that we have a few colors. So we have this background color here, which is a um, color that I don't know wh which color is. Uh, and we have color here, we have uh, drop shadow, which is using a, a color with an alpha. And you know, we have a lot of colors here inside this file, but I'm not able to identify the color, you know? Of course, I can identify because uh, when we are working with HTML and CSS for a long time, we start to be to be used to the color. So I know that this one here it's a it's a black color. Uh, I know this it's a gray color. I know that this uh, is almost a black color, right? So, but it is not easy to know this, right? So I have a f uh, an extension to show here. But you can ask me, hey, Thiago, uh, VS Code has, VS Code has uh, an option for this. And yes, you're right. So for example, if I come here and open the user settings, you can see that we have the editor.color decorators. And my preference is to set this to false, right? But you can set this to true. And you can see, ah, yeah, I was wrong. This is almost a green. <laughs> Uh, you can see that we have a pre uh, preview on the, on the left side of the color, right? But it's not big enough. Uh, you have to focus your eye on that. Yeah, I know. So we have an extension for this, which is very helpful in my opinion, which is the color highlight. Color highlight. Let me see here. This one here, color highlight, right? Uh, I'm stalling it. And as you guys can see right now, we have the the color obviously highlighted, right? So you can see that it's um, clear now. We can identify the color perfectly. If we want to use this uh, this preview, we can. It will also help us to change the colors. It's awesome. But my preference is not not use uh, the preview in the, in, the, in the left side. I like to set this to false, right? and use just like this. So I can identify the color perfectly and I have no problems with this, right? So as you can see, we have the colors being highlighted and of course using the drop shadow. Uh, if we use RGBA two, so I, I, I can remove, it will be the same. I can start doing a manipulation here and you can see that we are changing the color. I, I'm almost not seen because you know, uh, almost invisible right but doing this it's totally clear now right so guys that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this extension and i see you in the next video right bye